Hello guys, Segeth with Frontline Tactic, and I know it's been a while, and I've not been up with 100% uh, with what's been going on. Just been busy with work and such, but there's been some major updates with Kenshi. And so uh, I thought I'd uh, show off what the look of those textures, the background, the, the new uh, load screen. Uh, looks great. Uh, this is version uh, 0.47.0. Um, I believe we're still waiting on sound, but now they've added in, um, uh, one of the major things is blueprints, so that it's not just respondent to, uh, working on the, the workbench to learn new technology, that some technologies and, uh, schematics, you have to buy the blueprints from various townships. I kind of like this idea because it forces you to venture out of your own little thing, because... Um, my previous videos, once I set up a, a, a mine and kind of working on my own thing, I didn't leave. I didn't need to leave, you know, except for to sell the stuff that I killed off of the bandits. So it, it really turned into, I was self, you know, I just lived in my own little pocket. And so I thought, well, with all the new changes, and I haven't really touched this in so long, uh, I am going to just start a new game. Uh, t -t 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 trying to see. So last time I did the Freedom Seekers start up with a group, and yeah, I thought it was it was very easy. Um, let's see. No amount of time passes, you wake up and find your old buddy still breathing, but you didn't die or need. I might do this, the survivors. Wandering Trader, no. Let's see. You do the Lawn Wanderer. But that seems a little bit too hard. I kind of like the Survivors. That way, two of us can start out. Start brand new. Oh. Oh, this guy is hideous. Let it load the, the graphics here. And we've got skin tone options now. Beck is dead. Hopefully that's not my teammate, otherwise I'm in trouble. That's, there's my name, Sega Face. Hairstyle. Oh. Go with that. All right, let's go with body. We need to change something about this. Kind of a wiry guy. We'll go with that. Posture. Okay. Neck position. You can really make your guy look like a derpa herp. Let's get all my things at least proportioned in this. Mm-hmm. Like a normal person now, kind of face. Oh my gosh. That face. This is great non-content, me, uh, forcing you guys to sit and watch me make my character. Ooh. I 
to make it look like a normal person here. have one with a decent scruff or a beard going on. That's, uh, like I would have. Well, that seems good. So, uh, yeah, we'll create my character there. As it uh, loads here for a second. Where is Jin? Jin is there. What do I have on me? I have nothing. It's loot pin. Who is Pin? Pin is nameless. Let's take Pin's sword. Seems like my graphics have kind of glitched out. This is not good. I just had it running just perfectly fine a bit ago. Well, let's pick up our friend. Hopefully this glitch isn't, go uh, isn't uh, showing up through here. Wish I could zoom in on the map. That'd be nice. Um, can't really see. Crap. Like which direction I'm supposed to be going. A war of people. Huh. Well, apparently I... Oh, I know what I did. Options. I tried to enable shadows. So I may have to come back and do this. Otherwise, I mean, this is some great non-contact. Yeah. I forgot. Um, last time I tried playing this, when I first loaded this game, that you could not do... Um... I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, I guess we're going to go ports. I think there's a place up there. I've been reading about people that can like navigate these places because they've wandered so much that they know the land by the, like the back of their hands. But that was ridiculous. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the. I'm gonna stop here and reload it. Let's go. Save game. We're gonna save it as F1. save complete and then uh, yeah so I'm gonna try to tag these um, I'm gonna tag the two videos together hopefully um, I have really crappy editing software as you guys can tell by the great quality of videos that I produce so hopefully this all um, syncs up together fine Alright guys, here we are. We're back. I fixed the graphics. So, kind of what the problem was, um, uh, I still had the, the, the janky screen, but what I did was I, uh, uh, all I did was reload. Like, literally, that's all I did, was tell it to load. I think there's a place up there. We'll see. So, yeah, as you can see, the grass and the 
the fields look really good. Um, partially is because uh, those of you that do follow me uh, realize that I recently had a new video card installed. As well as I understand that the gentleman with his marvelous beard over at uh, Lo-Fi Games has been working very hard on uploading uh, skins and new armor and just new things to do and... Who are these people? Imperial Lords. Oh, they're friendly. Okay. Anyways, and so they've been really working hard. I forgot I can fast forward. At just changing up the game and making it great and polishing it. Uh, some of the new armor and the clothing, um, some clothing and weapons now, you're going to have to buy the schematics, or i.e. Uh, blueprints in order to do it. Um, walls, I believe he has walls up and running and working, and so that's one of the things I want to do. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> during our commercial break, I went and got uh, some iced coffee. It's delicious. So. What? Oh, loading an area? What are we doing? Okay. And we're loading. So, let me zoom in real close. Let me show you. So, as you can see, you still get a little bit of kind of, um, what do you want to call that? Uh, unless those are tears in the pants. But, oh, right here. Yeah, so there's still some of the stuff, but, I mean, granted, you're going to find a lot of that clipping in a lot of games that there are, um, uh, the, the customizable sizes. Does my guy ha uh, do I have an ugly friend? I do. I have an ugly-ass friend. Uh, what is that, a skullet? I can't remember what they call that. So, yeah. I do wish that we can move the camera up more sometimes. So there is a wall up here. So I am going in the right direction. So I kind of want to make a look at this and I wanted to see about what the feasibility of starting over and showing a decent build and the progression through. Um, if you guys are interested in doing that, I, I kind of want to do it. And I feel my previous save is going to be allowing me to cheat way too much and cut corners or maybe I should choose my previous save or at least my my gentleman from my previous save just because they're so progressed that they can kind of lay down the hurt on uh, any bandits that show up and I already have a decent supply of stone that I can incorporate to uh, to basically get things done Let's see how are my stats what do I start with Science one, laboring one. Engineering, medic five, medic six. Five across the board, that's great. What about Jin, my buddy Jin? Uh, we're, we're, we're same, except for the fact that I'm starting to level up my athletics. And my strength, I believe. Cool. So, yeah, I would like to see... Oh, of course I can't sell Jin to do anything. Jin's incapacitated. That was silly of me. So, yeah, I would like to see what you guys have in mind. And what you guys would like to see. I just picked the, the Lone Survivors just because I think a two-man team would be a lot better than starting as a single man. And I already did the five-man start team. The five-man start team was very easy, I would say. Uh, to be honest. It was very easy. I mean, you start with a thousand credit. thousand dollars. And then work your way up. You know, you start with like, oh, I can't remember what I had. I had like 25 stone. Yeah, you start with 25 stone. Uh, an old warrior, which can whoop ass. Um, he literally, if I didn't have the old warrior, I think I would have died ages ago. Alright, let's slow, these, slow things down as we get into town. Let's check out the guards. Now, the guards 
look ridiculous. The full samurai armor and garb. And the Kabuto helmets. I mean, bravo guys at Lo-Fi. I really like the textures and the design. You got kind of this post-Mad Max apocalyptic uh, feudal Japan. Uh, it looks great. Um, it does. It literally looks like something like Mad Max meets feudal Japan. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that's what the look he was going for, but that's kind of always had like the Seven Samurais kind of um, Roni Kenshin-esque thing going on. Now it's the thing of finding a bed. Here we go. Oh man, that coffee is delicious. I highly suggest, if you are going to wander the wastelands, make sure you uh, get yourself some uh, iced coffee with vanilla in it. Let's see. Cool. And might as well sleep for myself. It's not going to let me... Don't tell me it's been charged me. Oh. Oh. I've used all my money to basically bring him, try to bring him back to life. Let's fast forward this. Jin is now coherent enough. I believe. No, maybe not. It's going to be a tedious task. Technology core. Okay, so this is the stuff that we get to look at. I think right off the bat we should try to build a small house. I mean, smithing, defense, stone walls. So we can learn stone walls on our own fairly quick. So yeah, we want to get stone mining. Where's my research? How do I build the research generators? Okay. Build. Oh. Da, 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 crafting. Oh, um, it's under tech? Oh. Power? Oh. I don't know how to do... Do I not know how to do anything? Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh. This is going to be difficult. So, potentially... So, this is what I can learn on my own. But I don't know how to build... Uh, the research station, the workbench. So that means I need uh, the blueprints. So I'm going to have to earn money somehow. Oh, wait. Jin. Oh. This was lame. Oh, Jin. Your disgrace. Oh, well. Jin does have a sword. There we go. I have a sword. Alright. So, sadly, we need to go earn monies. We are broke. So, maybe I will continue a series like this. Two broke-ass guys making their way out in the world. Could be interesting. So, one of the best ways I know how to make money is either beating up bandits, which is probably not a good idea at this point. Wait a second. Loot bodies. Here we go. Jin. Go over there. Sigif, go there. So we're going to vulture. Yep, that's what we're going to do. run around and vulture for a while. And I like the range button. That is... That is amazing.
Now what would be also interesting is to find out, is that another body over there? Uh, let's go find out. Another thing would be nice to find out is if, um, if you can pick up money now. Like, I honestly don't know that or not. Um, cause that was another thing, the only, that it would say like a certain faction or a bandit has money, but when you kill them, there's no money transference. There's no like, you know, I picked up five copper or whatever the currency is in this. C's, C notes. Let's call them C notes. You know. And so, I'm wondering if they had put that in the game. If not, Lofi, if you're listening... Uh, you have a marvelous beard. This is me um, trying to uh, butter you up. Granted, I am jealous. I do not grow beards very well. So, this is kind of a st true statement. Uh, put in the whole loot cash thing. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a bunch. I mean, come on. You're telling me a sand ninja does not have pocket change. Really? Doesn't? So, I, I know that's a, a very petty thing in the grand scheme of all the marvelous work you're trying to put into this game. Um, but yeah, if you can ever give me, uh, contact me. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on some of the stuff that I ramble. Um, I know that's kind of uh, arrogant and grandiose that I believe that the publisher of this game and the designer of this game is actually listening to my ramblings. But hey, you know, if you don't, don't don't ever talk or don't ever ask then you never know so let's go and wander well, I was kinda hoping to find more <laughs> more corpses this is uh... this is slightly uh... depressing alright let's see oh, we are in miserable shape sir are we actually slowly healing? We do we slowly heal? Yellow? I can't remember. Uh, 42, 38, 54. I guess I'll just remember myself. Alright. Alright, where are we going? So if I understand, if we get up on that ridge, should be getting to another city. Let's go do that. Jin, come on, you're loafing around. Get your... Wait, what's that over there? Ah, oh, is that a caravan? Caravan. Uh, that's a great... I guess that's another source of money. That's how I can do it. Um, you can hire yourself out as a uh, caravan protection. And so all you gotta do is basically walk with the caravan. You tell... Is that a bone? That is... That is awesome. I wonder if he's gonna add wild beasts into this. That'd be pretty good. So yeah, caravans are a great way to find money or to follow because bandits will attack them and they usually have some decent guards. So either you can vulture their, you know, I'm going to say that, vulture their loots based off of them killing the bandits, which is a good way to get money as well as to assist in fighting said bandits. Um, and then you can also hire yourself out to be a uh, mercenary guardsman for the bandit uh, for said uh, caravans and so you can earn faction within the faction tab which I got it the faction working once and it was pretty cool but um, what is that more giant bones guys the the stuff that you've put into the scenery awesome Jen seriously pick up the pace um, looks like they're in a bandit fight right there so we can kind of swoop in help them clean up the bandits, loot some of it, and then, uh, yeah, vulture the loot, and then get hired to continue to escort them towards the next city. And so this game really makes you think about survival and marketability of yourself as a wasteland wanderer. I like that a lot. All right, let's speed this up to get over there. It looks like they're fighting. Maybe they're not fighting anymore. Maybe they're just walking in loops. Oh, 
Camera went crazy there. Sorry about that. Alright, let's go normal. Jin, how's your athletics stats? Seven. Nine. Athletics bonus 150%. 100%. I wonder why. Oh, I think he's is he carrying more? That's positive. Okay, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Total weight 14, 16 out of 20. Okay, I see why. Okay. Okay, let's see. At the game's uh, attack bonus minus four, but four defense. You know what, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Arrange. We're gonna have one of us have a little bit of diversity in weapons. Let's uh, go talk to one of these guys. Uh, just <laughs> My name is Dirt. Come on. Anyone else? Primus? Love it. Anyways, great song. What can I do for you? I'm looking for work. Do you need another care fan guard? It can't hurt. Uh, I'll join up with you for now. Cool. Uh, bodyguard. You gonna do it? You gonna bodyguard? You gonna move? This is terrible. I well, might as well walk. There we go. Oh gosh, this is terrible. Let's go. I think follow works better. Yeah, it does. And so, yeah, you just do this, and then you speed up time. Because then, this is also a great way if you ever get lost find a caravan and you don't know where a town is because sometimes that map is kind of difficult to read because it doesn't sh you don't have any bearing of north south east or, east or west really in this game not that i've really discerned and there's no sun in the sky for you to, to determine what uh direction is what because i mean that would be basic you know survival knowledge there is uh to determine you know sun traveling east to west where are we going I think either we're going to Catan or whatever that circle is I don't even know what circles are is that like a bandit outpost like that would be cool be able to siege sand ninjas um, if it's not in the game I mean, I mean it, I'm pretty sure that would eat up your load and your processor and everything else those those enemy enemy bandits over there. What, let's see if I can click on one of them. Hungry bandits. Their stats are comparable to ours, so I feel confident, especially with everyone else that's here. And these guys are very decked out. Let's see. What's... That guy got a ball cap? He does. That is awesome. You, sir. That is awesome. The textures and the work. All the work that he's put in through the game recently, I am blown away. Especially if you would have saw the initial... Like, watch my first video. And how this has progressed. It's amazing. This the sheer work and the time that he's gone into it. I'm really excited to hear the music that comes about. So, as well, he's talking about doing different biomes. Like uh, he didn't even mention in his in his post uh, exactly what different biomes he was looking to do. But let's see if we can uh, rile up these bandits. Uh, let's see. If these bandits don't aggro to us. I may just run out and snag them and pull and aggro them over to us. Let's see. Let me inspect each one. See what our combat rating is. Oh, uh, he's oh, con oh, he's a leader. Here we go. Stats. Is he worth anything? Sometimes if you look at him, it'll say a uh, bounty on their head. 
no bounty. Those guys are both pretty much the same. And then him. So, yeah, I think with the the group that we have, especially since these guys are shirtless, we have a really good chance at... Uh, where am I? Okay. Really good chance at winning this fight. So, actually, let's... Yep, here they come. So let's run with these guys. Don't want to get caught without them. See what they're doing. Getting ourselves stuck up on a really weird place. Gonna come around. They're gonna mesh in. And then we're gonna go in. Get that guy. Yeah. Just gang up on that one guy. Because we are weak from whatever fight that we initially came from. Get him. Get him, get him. Actually, guys, get over here. I don't want you falling through a clip plane or something. We're doing alright. Sweet. Down some. Let's get some monies. Some loots. These guys actually look worse off than us, us possibly. Oh. There we go. Ugh. Better than nothing. Is that a lead stick? We may have to ditch. Actually, four four zero point three. Actually, <laughs> that is better. We're gonna have to ditch some of this stuff. We just don't have the strength to carry it. That sucks. That one is a lower quality. Wait, where'd our friends go? Friends. And just like that, we get ditched in the desert. Did we really? Yeah, we just got ditched in the desert. Let's see, stat. Maps, research, factions. Did we get any good faction? Don't even know where. Where did our friends run off to? Well, that puts us in a. V Wait, is it no? Is that them? This is a very dangerous place, I now realize. Wow. Well, I found it the land of suck. Let's go away from the mob over there. Alright, so where are we? So there's a city over there. Well, let's go to the city over there. And we earn zero cash. Zero. 
Hopefully we can sell this weapons for something. Potentially buy band-aids. Oh man, that's that is so that's gonna be stressful. Let's keep on the ridge so we can see where we're going. That is. I'm I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be slightly stressful. Oh, run. Are you kidding me? Wait. Where was that fight at? Let's go back and steal some sh stuff. I didn't realize that I didn't have run on. So if anything, I should do the hard walk, get them their XP's. That's not what I wanted. Is that what I wanted? The stick. Yes, stick. Cool. That's how we're going to do this. Wait, there was a... Oh, bodies are decomposing. Oh, should have paused the game. So, that's kind of nice now that uh, the bodies do decay after so many hours of such. Sorry, thought I heard something. Anyways, um, that is kind of nice because uh, I remember like having to pile the bodies like behind a rock because I got tired of looking at them all the time. Got a nice little bowl valley. I like this. Go set up a little camp here. I guess this desert isn't absolutely bad. It's not the best. So. We're up there on the plateau. Where are we? Okay, so that's Catan. And we're coming up on this circle that doesn't have a name. So... A circle with no name. It's a terrible name. What do we got going over here? Hungry Bandit Leader. Hungry Bandit. Just the two of them. How ballsy do I feel? Well, I can aggro him and run to the count and... don't think I can take them in one-on-one -on -one combat. So what I can do is aggro them and then who are these people? Ah, yes. Aggro them and then run off to the town. I wonder if those are my buddies. I wonder if those... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this took off on me. So, if friendly... Actually, I feel like I could get them. I feel ballsy enough. Let's do this. Could very well be the end. Get him. I feel like the bandit is. Alright, Jin. I need you to go to defensive. Rip and kill that guy. Jin, you're doing great. <laughs> Over there. Oh man, I am hacking this guy up. Drop him. 
Drop him quick. Ah. Uh. Oh. Stop hitting him in the arms. Hit him in the chest. So, yeah, if you guys haven't watched my other videos about how the combat system works, is that head, chest, and stomach are your, in blood, are your four actual very vital stats, as well as you got to be careful about this bleeding stat. How fast you lose blood because you can get a deep wound and bleed out and just watch your stats your blood just go if your blood tanks to zero you black out essentially and then your blood will go continue traveling in the negative and if you do not have a bandage kit or anything like that then yeah so that's kind of a recap if this is the first time watching any anything on kenshi um it has a very intricate uh, body uh damage or location system I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and so, if you get uh, damage for the right leg or the left leg or the arms, there will be a visible uh, representation of that. Just pause the game, grab that. Alright. Now to go help him. Man, his defense is high. Ugh. Jin, you're not doing so good. Okay, so now, Jin, I need you off offensive. Try to get this guy. There we go. Double Tino. There we go. Get him. Ah, we're just attacking him way too fast. And then if you can... There we go. Why... I'm holding my head. That is not a good idea. Oh, my head is pretty wounded. So we loot him. Wham bam. Does he have a bounty? There's the other guy. We're going to try. It doesn't say that they have bounties, but worst case scenario, this boosts our strength up. See, now we both have 10% chance to increase our strength. It does slow down our, our uh, athletics gain, but strength is a very hard one to, to gain in this game. And one of the best ways to get strength in this game is to basically carry people. So, right there, we got a couple weapons to sell, and, uh, yeah. I know there's a lot of non-content, and I wish I had, like, music to play in the background to entertain you guys without, um, copyright infringement and such. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Wait, they're not going to come kill me, are they? Because that would be absolutely terrible. Oh, Samurai looks like we are in good faction with. And they're beating up Sand Ninja. So, Sand Ninja are bastards. Oh, it's a single Sand Ninja. Single Sand Ninja is taking on all of them. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go spectate. And then the, the caravanners are just running around in circles. Hopefully no one... Okay, they're just healing themselves, I believe. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him down. Uh... 
1.18. Do this. And he has a bounty, so pick up. So just like that. Okay. And just like that, we are doing good. We just set up to move up the world a ton. Oh, there's more fighting going on over there. So we need to hurry up and do this so that we can go and vulture more. And that's what we're doing. So, we made it to the town. Ta-da!